Hey, what's up, hello, and welcome. My name is Maya, and today we have an episode of Whimsy Stories, and I'm so excited because Noel aged up, and I want to show you all Noel. I am so excited for this generation. I posted a poll on my community tab asking if you want me to use Sage to explore the new pack that The Sims 4 is going to be dropping in March, and it was about... 50 50 more people wanted me to start a new series though so i'm gonna start a new series with that pack but i decided to not pause my series when i start that series hopefully i can juggle all my series and the new series whenever the pack comes out but that being said we get to just play along with whimsy stories until the pack comes out so i don't have to put it on hold which i'm so excited for because i am in love with noelle and i just want to see her grow up and i kind of want to move sage's generation along so this episode is going to be very much storytelling and yeah i'm excited though so let's get started so as i mentioned noelle aged up but she's upstairs sleep. I don't know. She's well rested or we can get her up. Yeah, she's in here sleep. She's so cute. She's pretty well rested, but she doesn't really need much. So we're going to let her sleep. We have Miss Thing over here on the computer. Oh my goodness. And she's sad because freaking Max ran away and is missing. And I want to imagine that savannah kept the door open and Max escaped, even though Max did leave because Max was starving <laughs> but anyway oh yeah he does like cooking we're gonna pretend that savannah left the door open because we're gonna move this story along and we have to adopt noelle so we've been working from home because sage has been in university he's only been doing one day i think so far but he's so excited to be in university and like move his career along. He's only taking two classes currently because I want him to move slowly through this career. He's also in his teaching career right now and we need to conduct research and ask to volunteer time. So we have a lot to do today. So we were talking to Savannah. I know they weren't really talking, but we're going to pretend we were talking to Savannah about making sure she's okay to watch Noelle. And it's weird because watch Noelle, Noelle is your daughter, but... She has unwanted sentiments against Noelle, so it's hard for her to be around her. And she doesn't really do much with her. If you look at her, like, sim profile, she is unwanted child, and child is in Savannah's custody because Savannah freaking took custody away from Toby because Toby didn't want to be with her after she had Noelle, and she thought that Toby would want to be with her finally. So she did some petty things and took custody away from him. And she told the courts that he had he sold drugs because he does. He sold her drugs before and she used that and she got custody of her daughter. And it's been hard for Noelle because she doesn't really have a relationship with her dad now. Her mom thinks of her as unwanted and she just uses her as a pawn. And Savannah's evil, so we're not surprised about this. Also, Savannah has negative relationship with cc and alexis because cc and alexis is toby's younger sisters and they were savannah's close friends and they're noelle's aunts but they were not happy that like you know she took their niece away from their brother and it's still some old wounds there but she's researching drugs because that's a part of her aspiration but i don't really see us planning playing with savannah as much she's been having a tough time having this child in her life and she really just wants to party like she used to and it's not what she signed up for being a parent so it's been hard on our girl but when you have a child that child's your responsibility and look who's up it's little noelle this is not even her every day is she stinky because i'll give her a bath not really but she's crying because she's fussy and clingy and she just wants her her uncle her uncle's gonna come up here and potty train her because he loves his niece and he's all ready for today and he's like i'm gonna go up i'm gonna check on noelle i can hear her crying i know savannah's not gonna do anything <laughs> just sit there because that's what savannah always does so he's gonna go in and check on his niece who he's been the one taking care of her since she's been born and she's like i don't want to potty train uncle he's like okay okay can we discipline her and that's another thing she's not his kid so it's hard for him to discipline her when she doesn't listen to him which is often because she's fussy and he just wants more control over like you know 
his niece and her upbringing because her mom is not doing anything. Oh, my goodness. She's really saying no. All right. You're going to have to ask for potty help then because you really need to use the potty. And he's like, okay, now you want to go after I've been asking you? Wait, can we? I guess not. I do want to change her outfit, though, since we can't make her go potty. Just so you can see how he dresses her. He's someone that cares about his appearance and his looks and his house. So, oh, my goodness. Can we not dress her? Like, what is wrong with her? She's not. I'm Noelle. I'm done with you. Change your outfit. Okay. And look, her mom is in here. She's probably like, why did your uncle put you on that? In that ugly outfit? Like that outfit's so ugly. So she goes, that's not something she'll dress her daughter in. But she's trying to tell her daughter a story. I guess she's trying to talk to her now. But she has difficult feel feelings. It's hard to be near a child who inspires so much more panic and sadness than it does joy. It's not the child's fault. It's not necessarily the parent's fault either. Where Santa... Where Savannah tried to explain this to others, she would be met with nothing but horror and judgment. Yet how is one supposed to force themselves to not feel the sadness they feel and to feel a happiness they do not? And perhaps there is love for this child somewhere within Savannah, perhaps. But as of now, it cannot be found or felt overrun by upset. So she's really just like, it's hard to be around her. And she does take it out on her daughter sometimes because she is evil. She tries not to, especially when Sage is around, but she's going to nag her like, why would your uncle put you in those clothes? Those clothes are so ugly. I don't know why he did that. And like, she's not necessarily saying it to be mean, but it does hurt Noelle's feelings when her mom gets this way. So yeah, it's a kind of, it's a sticky situation, but we knew it was going to happen, especially when Savannah rolled evil last episode. But yeah, tough time. She is going to go out today. And Sage needs to post about Max because Savannah let Max out and now we we don't have our dog. Also, a part of Sage's generation is to have a photo wall and we do have one out here. It's right here. It has all the pictures from Sage's like upbringing and Savannah's in a lot of these pictures. It's so cute. I love them. It shows the house. It shows like the family and how he grew up. And we're obviously going to have more pictures on this wall so i'm gonna have to like take pictures out as we get pictures of noelle speaking of that can we get a picture of noelle i wonder because you can't do anything with noelle yep mm -hmm. i bet i bet you can't but noelle is hungry can we get i think he made pancakes or breakfast scramble he made i don't know if she can go downstairs all right let's see if he can grab a serving oh no not for himself for noelle and then looking at his job we need to ask someone to volunteer their time. So we should ask Savannah and maybe we can be like, you know, Savannah, can you please volunteer your time and watch Noel today when I'm at school and I have some things to do after school? I have to go to the library. Can you watch her? Mm. All right. So we're going to ask her if she can watch Noel for us because after we're done with with school we have to go and conduct research because that's a part of his job too so we might as well do his debate club that he had while he was in school because that worked for us and look at her being evil on the on the internet and she's like how dare you how dare you ask me to volunteer my time like ah it's night on the town drinks are free like i was supposed to go out tonight what time are you gonna be back and he's like i won't be back late i promise savannah <laughs> Which is crazy because, like, that's your kid. You should be home to watch your kid. But, you know, and she's like, no, I'm not doing it. He's like, okay, can you just watch her until I'm off of class? Like, he's thinking about school, too. I'll take her to the library with me, but can you just watch her after class? And he's, she was like, okay, now you're making it seem like I'm a bad mom. I guess I'll watch her. I, it's not even like I'm watching her. She's my kid. So she said that she'll watch Noelle for us after school. Or while we're at school, because we have to do things for our work, too. And she did not volunteer her time, so we have to ask somebody else when we get off. But you know what, Savannah? It's fine. I was going to say Savannah's finally in a good mood, but she's never in a good mood. So plug for some inspiration, and maybe you can do a sad painting or something. Oh, I never even showed you Noelle, like, really up close. She, I don't even know what she looks like, because she looks like a mix of both her parents to me. And I changed her room from pink to red because I don't know. I just see red being her color. But isn't she so sweet? She's so cute. I feel like she's so mischievous. And of course, her uncle is the one in charge of dressing her. So she always has like fancy hair and clothes until she like has her own style. I'm sure it's not going to really be like that. But, you know, whatever her uncle wants. She's so cute, though. Mm, maybe draw her grandparents. She doesn't really see her grandparents like that. 
or her dad. So we have to bring her to see her grandparents soon. Rue did come over after we had Noel and we had Sage show off Noel to her. And she basically fell in love with her at first sight. And she said she wanted grandchildren when we asked her. So I think she like doesn't take it out on Noel, but she can't stand Savannah and her parenting style. So yeah, right. He's heading off to class. Oh, wait, so much is going on. Oh my goodness. His aunt is having another baby after the twins, Destiny and, and Dustin. I wonder how old they are now. But we also have freaking Oakley here. He probably wants to see his niece. So we're going to invite him in. You know what? Perfect timing, too, because, like, we did not want to watch Noelle. So she's probably like, hey, can you watch Noelle for me? Because I want to head out. It's night on the town. I haven't been out since having her. And, like, it's so much work to raise her. Can you please just, like, watch her for me real quick, Oakley? And Oakley being the sweet little brother that he is, he's like, of course, of course, I'll watch Noelle. Where is she? But I want her to come down and introduce herself to Oakley because she doesn't know her uncle. All right. Savannah's like, I need to go in and get ready. You can talk to Noelle. She's right upstairs. We're going to have her take a shower before going. And Sage is back from school. He's probably like, uh Oakley what are you doing here and Oakley's like well Savannah says she needs someone to watch Noelle and she's like what the what the hell Savannah I told you to watch your daughter why are you calling Oakley all the way over to watch Noelle when she's your kid like I understand his frustration and she's in here crying like and no one gets why she's like this but she's been depressed for years now like honestly if she should get help all right he's going to argue about who's better for Noel? like for all this you should have just let toby keep custody like you really why are you not watching your kid like he's kind of kind of guilt trip her and like honestly savannah does not need this like i know she's not the best parent but she is going through a lot emotionally and i just wish she would tell him what it is instead she feels like if he knew that she didn't want noel that he would look at her as an evil person but honestly it's something that she just needs to be open and honest about but he's like i'm going to the library savannah watch noel that's all i'm asking you to do just watch noel you're not making oakley watch her you're staying and you're watching your own kid and look look it has like a little kid symbol too. And he, she's like, fine, I'm staying. I'll watch her. I'll watch her. So after this argument, we're going to head to the library. And it looks like they reach common ground too. She's like, see, I wasn't even, I only, I didn't even invite Oakley over. He came over himself. Okay. And look at you assuming you're assuming. So he's going to go to the library all upset, but we're going to follow him. And then we're going to do some things for his job. And then we're going to pick back up with Savannah. So when we get to the library, we just need to conduct research, ask one of his, ask one of his friends to volunteer time. And we probably can study as well because we do have a final exam. We have homework that needs to be done. So we have a lot to do. All right, Sage is at the library. He's heading in. It's freaking freezing here. But this is the library he used to go to as a teen, if you remember from last generation. And he hasn't seen his friends for a bit. He has also been like, you know, taking on a full dad role when it comes to Noel. So he hasn't had time to do the things he likes, like, you know, researching and debating and doing debate club and playing chess and all the, why is there so many floating books and all these other things? So he's going to do some debate, but he's still so angry or is he not? He can't complete a freaking task. Like, are you going to sit and conduct research, please? All right. It seems like it's working now. And he also needs to ask someone to volunteer time. Is any of his friends here? I mean, the whole club is here, but he can ask one of his friends because his sister said no. Trayvon is his bestie, so we can ask him. I think we can. Yeah, ask to volunteer time. He's like, okay. I still got it when it comes to research. Okay. All right, we're going to ask him and then we're going to do some homework. And then we're going to go play with Savannah for a bit and just leave him here. Of course, he's sitting on the floor. Oh, we have Valerie here too. I kind of want to make up with her because we had like a high school issue with her and he did want to volunteer time and we never really settled it with her. So I think I want to like talk to her. Oh, Lila's here too. That's like his really close friend as well. Okay. He just reset like 
boy, do your homework because I'm just all right. You know what? You don't have to be friends with Valerie because something something's clearly going on with you in your CC, and I just don't have time for it. So at least get your homework done, and then we'll dip out of here. Well, at least I'll leave you here. Oh my goodness, is that Marquise and Riley? I forgot they even existed. How cute! I love that they're just all standing and watching him do homework. Like, okay. Yeah, this is so weird. So weird. But oh, there's like a little classroom in here. We'll have to bring Noel. Um, did we finish? We did. Okay, he finished his homework. So I'm going to leave him here to do some... Look at this CC. Let me just slightly move over. I'm going to just leave him here to do some more research and debating and we're gonna pick back up with savannah because she told sage she'll watch noelle but she really wants to go out so <laughs> let's go see what she's doing all right so we're back home and savannah's getting ready to head out even though she told her brother she wouldn't because it's savannah so of course she is but now she has to think hmm what am i gonna do with noelle because ain't nobody here to watch her and she's just here all alone and she's evil and look she feels all sad because noelle is around and she's evil but not that evil to leave a little one and a half year old here by herself so she's gonna drop noelle off at her dad's because well she's been taking care of noelle well actually sage has been taking care of noelle but anyway she's have custody of noelle since she's been born and her dad better pick up the slack so she is going to nag her like, you better be good. You're going to go to your dad's house, okay? Look at her leaving. She's so angry. Is she going all the way upstairs to just to nag her? She really left Noelle in the bathroom. <laughs> like, Noelle is really just left in the bathroom. Okay. She couldn't even stand to be around her. Anyway, we're going to head to her dad's house. Well, not her. Well, not Savannah's dad's house. We're going to head to her baby father's house and drop Noelle off there. All right, we're here at the Larsons and they live in a low down house. We've been to this house once before for when we... Oh, and look at her pooping in her diaper. We've been here before for when we had like prom or something. But we're at the house and we're going to go in like you better watch her. We haven't seen Toby since we, you know, took custody of his daughter. <laughs> We're gonna argue about his parents with him. Oh my goodness, is this her grandma? Aw, she's hugging her daughter like you. You stay here with your dad, okay? I'm heading out. Her grandma's pretty. She's gonna babble. She's like, Grandma, oh, is that Oakley just went by on a bike? Whatever. Well, can we go in and talk to, where's Toby? Oh, he went in here to go to sleep in their one single bed. Oh, and she's about to die. Imagine. Savannah, go inside. She's going in there to wake him up. Like, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> That's his sister, by the way. So don't think anything of that. They just don't have any room in this house. So let's be mean. And can we finally argue with him? Oh, she's going in the kitchen to argue with him. She's like, you need to take her. You don't ever take her. Take her. And he's like, I, I wanted her. And you took custody of her. And she was like, I took custody because you're a drug dealer. And he's like, you're a drug addict. So what's the difference? <laughs> They're just both, both toxic, terrible parents. But Toby, to be fair, Toby has not even tried to be a dad. Well, he wanted to. And Savannah kind of just took that from him. He, he's like, you didn't even give me a chance to try. And he, she's like, well, okay, you can try now. How about you watch her now? And she loves that she's near misery and that he's miserable and he's hurt by her. Okay. And she won the argument. So he has to take her. Go in and hug your dad. She's like, show him how cute you are and maybe he'll take you. She has her little backpack on too with all her stick, like her clothes to stay the night here. And she's coming in like, dad. And he's like, oh my goodness. She looks just like me. And he hasn't seen her for so long. He's like, fine, I'll keep her. She can stay here okay so that's great she's like perfect now i can head out where is she okay she's in here she's like perfect now i can head out and finally have some fun that she's been craving so we are going to head out to a club somewhere i don't know what club but we're gonna go have some fun savannah is ready to let loose she has not let loose since her baby has been born so she's ready to go out 
and have some fun. All right, we're here out with Nia and Jaden. Both of them are her friends from high school and she is ready to go in and have some fun. She's feeling much more energized than what she felt when she was with Noelle, sad to say, but true. And the bartender is not making any drinks, so she went behind the bar and was like, I'm gonna make my own drink then. Why is her dad here? Okay, interesting. And she has no clue how to make drinks, but she is finally out to have some fun, which has her in a great mood. <laughs> Partying is definitely her element. Okay, looks like she made the drinks. I wish they were more dressed up, but it's fine. It's fine that they're not dressed up. And it's also fine that her dad is here. <laughs> okay, people are starting to show up though. Can we challenge someone? Evan Keller looks cute. He has no shirt on, but he still looks cute. I don't know where he is though. Says he's here. Oh, here he is with his no shirt on. I'm sure Savannah likes all the guys with no shirts on. She's like, you're cute. Come play with me. Of course, Savannah has game because it's Savannah. But she's, why is there a pregnant sim here? Like, why? He really seems like Savannah's type, though. So we're going to give him an introduction once we're done. And she won, of course, because it's Savannah. Or at least she is winning. He's like, that was a good game. And they're already good friends because she's so good at making friends. Ooh, and I think she's attracted to him. Because look at all these hearts. Yeah, she perceives him as very attractive. Of course she does. Oh, he's like, oh, absolutely not. Oh, well, you tried Savannah, but oh, she's celebrity. Oh, it is Octavia Bailey. Well, I don't think it's really working out with Evan. Who's this guy that just walked in? Brody Conley. So she's going to introduce herself to this guy instead. Right now it is six in the morning and she's still out at the bar. No behavior. Okay, she perceives him as very attractive and he seems to be taking her flirts way more than Evan did. So let's see how this goes. Okay, and they already have pink bar, which is perfect. Okay, they're both so flirty. All right, he's heading home, but I imagine he's like, you can meet me back at my place type of thing. So we're actually gonna... Oh, is she sad now? She's always sad. All right, we're going to actually leave Savannah off here. Um, she has a lot of thinking to do because she left her daughter at Toby's house. But she also has this guy, Brody, who she's feeling. And he's basically like, meet me back at my place and she might go. But then if she goes, her daughter is going to still be at Toby's house, even though she told Toby she'll be right back. And her brother's home now, probably worried, like, where the hell is Noelle? Where is Savannah? And we're going to leave all that, all that drama for next episode. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you think Savannah is going to do and what is going to happen next episode. But I had so much fun playing with Savannah and seeing her craziness. <laughs> But next episode, we should basically wrap this part of Savannah's journey up and bring it to a close and move forward with the challenge. I'm so excited. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye now.